Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Tremaine and this is my review of Onward, the new Pixar movie. Now of course the coronavirus has closed all theaters so this review is for when it's on streaming, <laughs> out, out on Blu-ray, when the movie theater is finally open you may want to um, say what was that Onward movie about because the marketing was poor. Um, essentially it's a movie about um, to, uh, they're in a world, a magical world, where they discover science. So even though there's magic in the world and everybody's like ogres and all these different kind of creatures, they actually um, have cell phones and they, they live in a world like ours, but they happen to be trolls and pixies and different things like that. I wish they really explored this world more, and the beginning of the movie is boring as hell. Um, as far as Tom Holland and Chris Pratt, they basically carry the movie, but, oh man, that beginning, it, it was, it just dragged. The middle of the movie, towards the end, they kind of stick the landing, but, oh, just getting there, it, it is, it was tough. Um, Lena Waithe, um, plays a lesbian character in the movie, yes it's a kids movie, and people have been praising the character because um, they didn't make a big deal about her being a lesbian. She actually had a throwaway line in it. Um, she said, the police officer references her girlfriend after pulling over a driver and saying to her partner, who's voiced by Ali Wong, my girlfriend's daughter got me pulling my hair out. That's all she said. That's the only reference to her being a lesbian. They never show her girlfriend or the kid. You know, and people were saying that um, they were happy that it wasn't like a social justice message beaten over the head. That, you know, a lot of kids, it'll even go over the head. <laughs> you know, they may not even realize what she said. Um, but people are praising it um, because of the subtlety. Um, you'll also find Julia, Julia Louise Dreyfus is in this movie, Octavia, Sp Octavia, Octavia Spencer, excuse me, and Tracy Ullman. Um, so we got a lot of good voice actors in this movie, but I would recommend you avoid the theater. This is something that's probably going to be on Disney Plus because it's Pixar. I would wait till it was on Disney Plus. The only reason why I'm recommending this movie is because by the end, they really stuck the land in as far as um, what the message they were trying to convey was a good family friendly message about family and brothers and, and things of that nature. And I think that that's something that kids can learn from. And um, that's it. So I recommend you stream onward. You can save your money and not take the kids, kiddies to the theater whenever they open after this coronavirus thing um, disappears. They say that the coronavirus doesn't, um, won't be able to survive when it's hot. So hopefully, you know, and if everybody stay quarantined and everything like that and not continue to spread it and do that two week quarantine and the, the virus dies out. Hopefully things can get back to normal. I can actually go to the supermarket and find some toilet paper. <laughs> I'm doing a video on that too. But um, that is my recommendation for Onward. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And I have many, many more reviews to come, especially since we're all quarantined. I'm going to be doing like a lots of Netflix and, and different movies that you actually can um, stay at home and watch. So thank you for watching. I'm Phoenix Tremaine and I will catch you in the next video.